You a God-loving man. Yes. Then you will be vindicated. Once we love one another in spite of our differences, in spite of our flaws. Mm. A Chicago lawyer is forced to defend his son who suspected of murder in the powerful new faith-based movie, Canal Street. And with that, we introduce Pat Smith, Dallas's <laughs> favorite Pat Smith oh, over here. It's no. great to have you. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. But girl, no, you are Dallas's favorite. Girl, bye. I get so, <laughs> <laughs> you came to the area, my my brother in love, everybody was crushing on you. Oh my god. Saying, can, I, can you hook me but up? They, but we love you out here. Of course, mutual Thank friend you. Cheryl Jackson. I mean, yes. you are so active in the community. So when we talk about Pat Smith, we talk about a philanthropist. Mm -hmm. I mean, we even talk about a mom, a, 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 a loving wife, a five, as <laughs> you could tell. But then also an actress, an executive producer yeah. for this film. I mean, tell us more about that. I mean, why did you choose to take on Canal Street? So first of all, I've been at this for a long time. Most people don't know before I moved to Dallas, I was pursuing acting in Los Angeles. Really? Yeah, so girl, I've been, when I tell you since I was 22 years old, I'm 48 now. As if we could tell, why are you telling us that? Just so we could <laughs> say like, oh, you look great. We already know you look great, girl, come on. No, let me tell you, I just think, you know what? I believe that you should look great at whatever yes. age you are. So I'm 48 and I'm doing the best I can. Like you I told you, I left my spanks. I left yeah. my spanks at home. Right here but. she is with her snakeskin dress coming and stunning on everybody and trying <laughs> to hurt her. I didn't come ready for that. But Pat, I mean, you love what you do. And I, I think that radiates I through, I mean, everything that you present us in the public. And yes. so tell us more about your acting because this, you, you do uh, yeah. show up in the film Canal Street, but you've done mm -hmm. some other things. But you know, so anyway, so yes, LA, yes. I definitely, I was, you know, on the Wayans Brothers and Sunset Beach and I did Beverly Hills 90210 and I did some hosting, but right as they Things were starting to take off is mm -hmm. when I met Mr. Smith, moved to Dallas, Texas, wow. and I haven't been able to get a job, y'all, in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been waiting for 20 some years, but God, I think I did. Well, I know he had a plan. And the plan was to, of course, raise these five amazing children mm -hmm. who are now much older and yes. way more independent. And also, um, you know, I'm a minister. Mm -hmm. And of like I said, I've been able to. You know, Dallas is, you talk about Dallas loving me. I love Dallas. Yes. And so we've been able to really serve the community through Pat Nimbus of Charities, which I love. And this just came out of nowhere. So if y'all have a dream out there, what camera, right here. If you have a dream, do not give up on it. Because when I tell you I was 22 years old wanting to do this, and I, had a, I was having a meeting on Beltline about another wow. project, and the director said, I think I have something for you. Because you kept trailblazing, you kept pushing on. Yes. Well, I just, yes, of course. It's like when opportunities would come, but this was about a TV show. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it flipped to this film. When I saw the trailer, I said, oh, I'm in. And I love it because when we think about uh, Dallas and we think about your footprint here, mm. especially led by faith, yes. and then we talk about this movie Canal Street. Let's let's get into the movie. Let's 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 talk about it. What is it about? Okay, what, what is the significance of this movie on the culture right now? First of all, as you know, um, social media, the media in general, you know, we, we have all this commentary going on. Everybody's giving their perspective. And our younger generation sometimes looks at that, and even, even I do sometimes, and we think that is actual news, right? This is, these are actual facts. Yes. But it's not. And this film really shows how, depending on whatever lens you're coming, that you're looking through, you're bringing your own perspective, your own judgment, mm -hmm. right? Your own unconscious biases. And I don't want to give the film away because it's no, 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 so no, 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 good no. and it's, it's the way, right now. it's in mm -hmm. theaters now, but the way that it's done, it's it's beautiful how you hear all of, the, all of this commentary around this very controversial you're case. You're talking about a 16-year-old boy here who yes. is going to trial here uh, over the murder of what appeared to be a friend in the it, trailer. I don't think I'm giving away too much with that. Well, they started it's off a little, kind of a little rough. It, it seemed, little rough yeah, it was a little rough. But they did, they built a friendship. Mm -hmm. And you know, what's beautiful about this film is you have a Caucasian young man and an African-American young man who, yeah, it was started off rough, but they found common ground with yes. each other. And from there, it just goes, uh, it, ooh, it gets, it goes in all kinds of directions. It, it's, it's tense. We it's talk about racial intense. tensions in America, and of course that's reflected in your movie here. But, but let me just say this. Yes. I would say more so than it being a, like, dealing with just race issues, it's really a community film, mm -hmm. and it deals with so much more. Because one, one I love the father of, um, Kevin Quinn, Kevin's mm -hmm. from Disney. He plays, you know, one of the lead characters. Yes. Um, Brian Suttermill, his father said it, it's not because he was a black 
boy that I felt like he was guilty, right? Right. Um, even though the community felt like he was automatically seen as guilty, mm -hmm. even though he hadn't been proven that yet. So it's not just about race relations. I think we all have Withholding this. Withholding judgment, I we, think, is yes. definitely a, a very prominent theme of this film here. Right. But let's talk about this quickly here. We yeah. have to circle back and right. we have to talk about your husband, okay? Uh, number 22, <laughs> Emmett Smith here, so supportive of everything that you do. We actually have some words for him that we would like to uh, show you right now. Yes. <laughs> if you get a chance, get out and check out Canal Street. It's a great faith-based movie. Enjoy. It's awesome. <laughs> what did you think of that? There, you weren't that expecting was, it. No, I was not expecting. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, where is he going to fall out of the ceiling? Well, we um, wanted to show you that because we know together, you know, it's a movement by myself, but a force when you're together, and you do that. You do that for Dallas and Pat. You know, we'd love to talk to you all day, but we just can't. We have to get on to <laughs> no, weather. No, I so gotta once go. once again, Canal Street in theaters right now. Pat, yes. thank you so much for no, joining us. Thank Your you. presence always appreciated. Thank you. All right, with that, Jeff. we're gonna send it over to Jesse right now. Thanks, Jesse. Uh